Good morning, Marissa. We are at the uh, exit 58 truck stop here off Wilson Street in Greenland. And no slick spots on our drive in. The biggest thing that we noticed on our drive to Greenland was fog. And it was thick on our drive in about 30 to 45 minutes ago. Also, one more problem area we've seen over the years during uh, whatever weather, rainy or icy conditions, the Bobby Hopper Tunnel. We've seen that as a problem area. Uh, accidents are prone to happen near the Bobby Hopper Tunnel. So be careful as you're driving past that. We get a free glazed donut today, but for me, I had to work for the free donut. So you can see I have the gear on and they don't have any hair nets back here. I mean, you know, I mean, so I have to settle for a hat instead. The residents in this community, they know that anytime a rainstorm or thunderstorm passes through Northwest Arkansas or this area in particular, Ball Street is a street that routinely sees floodwater. I hop asking for a donation in return for that short stack of pancakes, which is by the way, dine in only. You can't call in and get the short stack. You have to eat inside the restaurant to do so. A lot of calories. I'm telling you, I'm going to have to work out about Does five hours a day. I don't know. I'll tell you. Oh. Uh, hi. Are we on, Joel? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, ladies. We had a great time here at the Westin here in downtown St. Louis, right across from Cardinal Stadium. By the way, opening day just a month from today. Yes, I'm a Redbirds fan. Sorry, Royals fans. But I digress. A much different setting and climate here outside of Cowboys Stadium as opposed to what we saw last week at the Sprint Center in Kansas City. From the snow to sunny and warm temps, a little bit of wind here in Arlington, Texas. It's Chris Fry and the incredible shrinking man Shane Ewing. We all know he's about 6'5", but he's doing this for TV purposes. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, looking down to my level. Good morning, Marissa. We've been here in Greenland all morning long at the exit 58 truck stop. Uh, we began this morning at around 5 a.m. with fog. That has since cleared, but there are other areas uh, like West Fork and Winslow that are also that are seeing patchy fog on I-49, so you want to be advised when you're traveling, if you're traveling into that area. Now, all morning long, I've been contacting Washington and Madison County Sheriff's Office along with Fayetteville and Springdale Police, Arkansas State Police, and Central EMS, all reporting no accidents, but traffic is starting to build right now, so the threat of refreezing on the highways right now around bridges and overpasses may be, concern, may be a concern, so be advised as you travel to work this morning. We are live in Greenland. I'm Chris Fry for KNWA Today, Northwest Arkansas News. Yeah, we're outside the baseball offices here at X Stadium, where about 90 minutes ago, this parking lot was full of media and reporters waiting to hear from Shocker players and Gene Stevenson on what's really happening within the program. Here's what we know so far. Around mid-afternoon, Coach Stevenson, along with Director of Athletics Eric Sexton, met in their year-end meeting. Now, this is standard practice among all college coaches. Around that same time, KFH, the radio, local radio station here in the city, announced that Coach Stevenson's show would be postponed. And that's when Twitter absolutely blew up. The aftermath led to this. Coach Stevenson, within the last hour, leaving his office with no comment. Sexton wasn't available for comment either. And most players wouldn't talk on camera about what was said from Stevenson or Sexton. One player, however, spoke in junior pitcher Kale Elam, who, if you listen, was slightly emotional. I can't hope for the best. Keep this in mind, amidst this speculation, Stevenson's contract ends after next season. We still don't know what, uh, for sure, really, what was said or what happened earlier today. And honestly, this story might be much to do about nothing. Then on the flip side, this story could, and I emphasize could, be the beginnings of something much bigger. More on this story later in Cake Sports. You can also stay connected with us on Cake.com. Follow us on Twitter at Cake News, at Cake Sports. Follow me at C Fry Sports Guy. Like I said, much more later in sports. Live at X Stadium, Chris Fry, Cake News.